Hey guys, have you ever wanted to grill while backpacking? I'm gonna show you how to do chicken stir fry in the backcountry. That's next. Hey guys, I am uh, looking for a campsite and I found one a, a while ago along this creek here and I'm trying to head to it. But beautiful day, love this time of year. Spring, April, May, June, I love this, my favorite time of year, absolutely favorite. But uh, I think we're getting close here. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Look at this spot. I actually have a flat spot. I just pitched my tent right here just a few minutes ago. This is my new Lynx one. And uh, but look at we got a fire pit right here. That's an old fire pit too. All right, I got to collect some wood here, clean out this fire pit, and uh, let's get grilling. We got stir fry. Here too to work with. That's great. Nice tinder. Yeah. I also brought a uh, portable saw that I got at Walmart. It's like an eight, eight, nine dollars, but it locks out. It's made for backpacking, camping. Sharp saws. <laughs> This is my uh, portable grill next week. It's called the Bison Rolling Grill. It uh, weighs about one pound, two ounces. It's made for backpackers camping. But look at this. This is the grill here. That's it. It rolls up. But you take these slats, slide those in. But you can make, uh, you can, there's different kind of grills to get. This is a good one though. Cleans up really easy. It's made out of Teflon, uh, Teflon coated and aluminum. There we go. There's my grill. Comes with some little legs. But we are stable. And uh, let's see if we can get this going. I got my windproof matches. These work pretty good. I love my windproof matches. And then a waterproof case. There we go. Let's see if we can get this bugger going here. Come on. There we go. The uh, the grate here is they're they're hollow tubes, and so it cooks more evenly. Apparently, it makes the whole thing lighter. Okay, I got a little frying pan for my veggies. And what I did was I, I got chicken, it's in a Ziploc, but I, I added the spice, uh, some paprika, and salt and pepper just right into the bag, and then shook it up to distribute it. And so we're gonna go with that. I did the same thing with the veggies. I put some olive oil inside the Ziploc, and then I shook it up. So that's gonna help out with the cooking. And I'm gonna put the chicken on right now. I gotta chop these, chop the veggies up. So I found a nice flat rock here, and we can just cut these up. It's not a very, not a very big frying pan, so it's cute though. <laughs> Let's get a couple of them in there. I did bring a tomato.
But I love stir fry. It's so good for you too. Especially when you, I got uh, organic olive oil in these. I'm gonna cut these in half. And that is so good for you. Yeah, we're gonna have a smaller selection of veggies, but that's okay. Getting some greens in me though. Good thing about veggies is you can eat them cold too. It doesn't have to be fried up, so that's fine. Yeah, we're getting a nice little collection. I'll get to put the tomato on at the end. That tends to dissolve a little bit, but but that way with the olive oil and the salt and pepper, I don't have to carry any of that stuff. It's already pre-packaged, pre-loaded, so to speak. Oh yeah, that's cooking pretty good. It does good when it um, when the fire goes down and there's just the hot the embers going. But yeah, this will this it slow cooks better than just to having a direct flame on it. So and it's got plenty of paprika on it because so they have some flavoring. So then I'd have to bring a sauce or anything. Barbecue sauce would be fun though. I'm gonna add just a touch of water to the veggies here. You gotta watch that handle too, so make sure it's not over the fire. And I'm gonna bring a glove next time I need to, but. There we go. <laughs> I have some really good embers down there. That's really helping out. Yeah, that's cooking really well. Probably a little white in the middle yet, but when I got them off to the side. It's not necessarily a fry here with the water, but it, it cooks it a little faster. But yeah, I like it out here. It's a lot of fun coming out here. Such a beautiful stream. It goes up to that mountain I climbed uh, about a month ago. And I'm gonna go up there and make a camp. Put the tarp out, make a camp. And the stars are just amazing up here. Doesn't the red just add a nice touch to the, <laughs> to all the green? Very nice. Yeah, again, you got to keep that handle out of the fire there, but but these are pretty much done. I'm just uh, just getting some heat on them here, keeping the heat on them. But I'm really happy with this little grill. Yeah, it just folds down right in this little sack here. Isn't that great? Very nice. thing is with a little fire like this you're constantly tending to it you don't want to let it get too big or let it too small so you got to kind of play with it I actually enjoy playing with the fire so <laughs> keeps me busy and we just need it for a few minutes so yeah, let's give it a little kick up here There we go. But yeah, you just you can't get the sticks too big. Cause you just don't want a big fire, just enough to get a little heat on the bottom of the bottom there. But I think I'm ready, just about ready to eat. All right, here's my new uh, camp cook kit. I got this at REI. I think it's the REI brand. I forget that the box said it doesn't say on the on the bottom of it. But they're really nice uh, aluminum, uh, very smooth, and so it feels like you could 
cooking on it really easily. Yeah, it's like almost like Teflon or something. Isn't that great? And then I switched out the, the cup, the plastic cup with the tin cup, which I love the tin cup. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's perfect size. Fits perfectly in there. That was my little plate there. And then the pot, the water in, and the little uh, frying pan which I got the smaller one, wanted to try that out, wanted the little teeny one. I got this at the grocery store for about uh, seven, eight dollars in the uh, kitchen home goods section, right in the grocery store though. Cut this up here. Oh yeah, look how tender that is. Mmm. Put these in here now. Kind of do the whole, whole thing together. Get a final reheat, but yeah, look at that. The little bit of water really kind of helps everything keep the moisture on the the chicken, and just a little more heat there. But yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> It's time to eat. Does that look good? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> All right. Oh, the smoke is following me. <laughs> there it is. Okay. There we go. That is really good. Isn't that funny how the smoke follows you? <laughs> all right, you stay there. I'll go over here. And then we'll all be, there it is. <laughs> that is really good. Mmm. But yeah, pack's really light, and uh, you just have some Ziplocs. You can be, you can wash the Ziplocs out in the stream, and get most of the scent out of it. But then you reuse them for something else if you get them dried out. So Ziplocs are great. Yeah, that cleans up really good. I took this sponge from home, cut it in half, and now I got a little scrubber on one side, sponge on the other, and so that was uh, easy to bring with me. But yeah, yeah, that cleans up really good. Um, just let that sit in the sun for a little bit. That's ready to, ready to pack up here once it's dried up. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep hiking.